Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. All right, so we're, what we're out here doing is teaching our people our true nationality according to the Bible. That's right. Because for over, over 400 years, we've been miseducated and lied to. How? In saying that we're blacks, African Americans, Haitians, Jamaican, Puerto Rican. Right. None of those terms are in the Bible. That's our right. slave masters gave us those names, those That's terms. Right. But our true identity is in the scriptures. Right. We are the Jews according to the Bible. That's, That's our true right. identity. That's and we're going to prove it to you, brother. Brother, you listening? Because you're asking, what's your true, identity, your true nationality? All right, so let's read about the Israelites. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. We are the real Jews according to the Bible. That's our true identity. Right. That's right. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it up. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness. So these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. That was Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Sis, I see you looking at the sign. Over here, no, this is what our slave master called us. This is what our slave master called us. But according to the scriptures, you know, this is our true nationality, our true identity. Where do, where do you see your father on this side? Where do you see your father on this side? Where do you see your father on this side? Where do I see my father on your this father, side? Your father, right. Because according to the scriptures, you are who your father is. So, that would be Judah. Judah, right. So you're from the tribe of Judah. You know who else came from the tribe of Judah? Do you know who else came from the tribe of Judah? From what I'm learning right now. <laughs> yeah, Christ, you're right. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, he That's came right. from the tribe of Judah. Right. And you, you, you're you in the same family line as, as Jesus the Christ. That's so, bro, right now we're proving where the Israelites. Do the, read that Deuteronomy 101 one more time. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake. Unto all Israel on this side, Jordan, in the wilderness. So these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. You listen to this. this is only, he's only speaking to this nation of people, the Israelites. Nobody else. Not the Canaanites, Jebusites, Moabites, but the Israelites, right? Give me chapter 7, verse 6. Let's see what God knows, says about his people, the Israelites. What do you know about the Israelites? Yeah, what do you know about them? You forgot? What do you know about the Israelites of the Bible? What you know about Israelites? Nothing right now. What about you, sis? They're from Israel. They're from Israel? Okay. That's what else? Uh, they're from Israel. What's so, what's so unique about them? Israelites. Israelites. The walk with God. So they're like a, a special people to God, right? right? Right. You're right. All right. So give me all Deuteronomy 7 of 6. Bring it out. So we just read Moses was speaking to all Israel, right? All right, so let's get let's read a little more. Let's see what God, the heavenly creator, has to say about the Israelites. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. Hath what? Hath chosen thee. So out of all the nations of the earth, God chose the Israelites. Go ahead. To be. A special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. right. So God chose the Israelites to be a special people to himself above every other race that's on the earth. Right. 
And like the officer was saying earlier, we're not racist, but this is what the Bible is actually saying. God chose it. That's the King James Bible. It's the same Bible you got, but you've been miseducated about it. Our people have been miseducated, you know, through through what? Through uh, modern Christianity. The Baptist, Catholic, Methodist, Seventh-day Adventist, Jehovah Witness, they all taught us lies. Who started all those churches, sis? Yeah, who started? What people started all those churches? That's a good. I don't know. It's these people right here. These same people who put yokes of iron on your necks. They started all those modern, modern, exactly. So, okay. let's see what God called those people. Uh, give me a uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28 verse 13. Bring it out. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. This is the book. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. So God is still speaking to the Israelites, his chosen people. If y'all don't keep my commandments, I'm going to put these curses on you. Right. And you already know curse is a bad thing, right? Let's get one curse. Uh, verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for thee all the day long. You say your sons and daughters as a curse will be given to another people. That's what happened to us in the slave days. You see the movie Roots, right? Yes. They came and took what, little Kizzy, sold him off the wherever she went to, Louisiana or something like that, right? Right. So it's talk, this, this Bible is talking about us. Your sons and daughters shall be given to another people. Now did this, right here we're reading, this is supposed to happen to the Jews. Did this happen to the, the white man who comes up a Jew? Did that, no, but it happened to us, right? So it's proving that we're the real Jews according to the Bible. That's right. We are the chosen people. Uh, verse 48. Verse 48. There, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Therefore what? Thou shalt serve thine enemies. Because you didn't want to keep my commandments, I'm going to make you serve your enemies. Who was those enemies we had to serve? What people we had to serve? What? Yeah. No, you're right. That, that, so what did God call them? My friends are our enemies. Right. So read that one more time. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies. For breaking my commandments, now you got to serve your enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. So whatever we want as a people, we got to go to the same people who had us in slavery. You want food, water, clothing? We got to go serve them for it. Keep going. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. That same enemy will put a yoke of iron on your neck until we was destroyed as a people. That's when them shackles came off. Right. Like we no longer know who we are. We're calling ourselves now black African American instead of the Jews. So that's when them chains came off. That's right. uh, verse 68. How did our forefathers get over here, sis? Bring it out. Over here? Yeah. They were on what? On boats. on boats. Now we're reading the curses, right? Upon the Israelites. We're going to read a little bit further down to verse 68. And that was in there. Go ahead. Teach, uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 68. Jesus. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And right now God is saying, I'm going to bring you Israelites back into Egypt. We just left out of Egypt. He said, for breaking my commandments, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt. What were the Israelites doing in Egypt that, that first time? What were they doing? You remember? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, why did Moses have to say, let my people go? Because the Israelites were... There were slaves in Egypt. Right right, right, right. Right. They were building the pyramids and all that. So right here, God is comparing Egypt, you know, to slavery. Let's prove it. Exodus 20, verse 2. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it up. We're reading this to prove what Egypt means. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So he's calling it Egypt the house of bondage. I brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. He's calling Egypt the house of bondage. Another word for bondage is like slavery, right? Captivity. Right, so now we know what Egypt means. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. You remember what Egypt means? Yes. What do it mean? Black game. Oh. Slavery. Slavery, all right. Slavery. All right. Slavery. All right. Oh. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Now, listen to this curse, sis, upon the Israelites. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into Egypt again, into bondage again, into slavery again. But this time how? With ships. With what? With ships. With cargo slave ships. I'm going to put you in, you Israelites back into slavery on cargo slave ships. Bring it up. Who the heaven to? Us. Us. Right. So this is proving that we're the Israelites. That's right. We're God chosen. That's right. We're That's God's right. elect. That's right. Finish that off. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Talking about our homeland. Once we came over here, we didn't go back to our homeland no more again. True. And there, and there, once you get off those slave ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be sold unto your enemies. True. There you go, go ahead. For bond men and bond women. For slave man and slave woman. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you, meaning no man's gonna save you out this condition. That's right. Like Martin Luther King tried, what happened to him? They, they, they killed him, right? Malcolm X tried. He died. Marcus Garvey tried. He died. The only person gonna save us is Christ, that black Messiah, that's according right. to the Bible. And that's now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. That's right. Now they will Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.